Hello and welcome back, and today we've got a glow-in-the-dark figure battle featuring two Entertainment Earth exclusive figures that I purchased on Black Friday 2022. They are the Jada Glow-in-the-Dark Creature from the Black Lagoon and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Glow-in-the-Dark Mutagen... I'm sorry, hold on a second. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate... I'm sorry, hold on. Teenage Mutant Ninja... Why is there so much goddamn packaging? Finally, here he is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Glow in the Dark Ultimates Mutagen Man. Also an Entertainment Earth exclusive. I did an unboxing of these a while back. But just to recap, neither one of these figures was on my radar. But Entertainment Earth was very deeply discounting them on Black Friday. Original retail combined on these was almost $85. They were being sold for $26 with free shipping for both figures. If Entertainment Earth just wants to give these away, I'll take them. My very first toy review for this channel was the original release of the Jada Creature from the Black Lagoon. I'll link to that video in the description, but be forewarned, back then I was about as green as this guy. I do have several of the Super 7 Ultimate Thundercats figures, but this will be my first figure from their Ninja Turtles Ultimates line. Here is the creature from the Black Lagoon from the 1954 film of the same name. In the first video I did about the Jada creature figure, I did go over a little bit of the history of the film as well as the creature design. So I won't go over that again in this video. If you're interested in that, just check out that original video. There is no difference in sculpting or design in this figure versus the original release. He is simply molded in a glow-in-the-dark plastic. So you've got all the same points of articulation. The shoulders, elbows, arms, hips, knees, a little bit of ankle movement, and of course the head, which is removable. So he's got a good range of articulation. The quality of the material is good. He doesn't feel like he's going to break at all. I did not have to heat the joints to get anything moving. So he seems to be good right out of the box. No change in the accessories from the original release. So we have the alternate head and the alternate hands, which are both molded in the same glow-in-the-dark plastic. We also have the fossil hand prop, along with the spear gun and the cloth goods net. And as I noted in the original review video, the creature does not use these accessories himself. You would have to get a figure from another line to use these to try to capture the creature. Mutagen Man made his first appearance in 1987. He was a hapless delivery boy named Seymour Guts. Seymour Guts, you get it? Yeah, you get it. Because of the actions of Bebop and Rocksteady, Seymour fell into a vat of experimental mutagen that Krang was cooking up. Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady fished the remains of Seymour out of the mutagen and transformed him into the shape-changing mutagen man. Which was probably one of the more horrific scenes from the original Ninja Turtles animated series. Mutagen man comes with two alternate fist hands and a gun molded in the glow-in-the-dark material. He also comes with two sets of these little trash bits. One loose set and the other one molded in the glow-in-the-dark material is still on a sprue. This Ultimates figure does have the same feature that came with the original. So you can pop this plug off the top of his head and you can fill his clear torso with water or slime or a mixture of the two as they suggested with the original figure, and you can take these little trash pieces and put them in the Mutagen Man body and have them just float around in there. I'm not going to do that with this figure, but it's an option. Mutagen Man is a big chonky boy, and because of his design, he doesn't have a lot of articulation. Of course, the where the head would be and the torso is just this big plastic shell that you fill with water. I'm not sure how watertight that is. I'm not going to test it and find out. But his shoulders can go all the way around. 
up and down. His elbows can't quite get to a 90. A little more on this side, but not much. Wrists, of course, can swivel all the way around because the hands are replaceable. Hips can go out and back and forth a little bit. Knees don't get quite to a 90. There is a good range back and forth in this ankle, but a lot less with this ankle because of the design of that mechanical foot. So one of the big criticisms about Super 7 Ultimates is the lack of modern articulation versus the retail price of around 50 bucks. Of course, I didn't pay that for this. I paid only 13 for this, so I'm not too concerned about the lack of articulation, but I'd say if it was a $50 figure, that yeah, the articulation does not really justify that price. But I know a lot of people buying these because they are faithful to the original Playmates toy and character designs. So in that aspect, it does do the job. So if that's what you're concerned about, you may justify the price. Of course, the real test for glow in the dark figures is how much do they actually glow in the dark. I've had these guys under the lights for quite a while now, so let's kill the lights and see how they look. So we've got some slight glow from the creature, but not a whole lot. Meanwhile, the mutagen man glow in the dark parts are standing out pretty well. And these small pieces on the sprue really glow. So if you did fill his body with uh, the water ooze combination and put these inside to float around, you'd probably get a pretty nice effect. Well, it looks like it's time for me to declare a winner. Who's gonna come out on top in this battle of the glow-in-the-dark monsters? Well, call it favoritism if you must, but this round goes to the creature. Despite the fact that the Munigen Man had some more glowy glow-in-the-dark effects, the creature remains one of my favorite classic monster designs. And this Jada figure easily beats the Super 7 Mutagen Man in articulation. So I'm declaring the Gill Man the winner of this battle. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.